Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for checking out this reading. This is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching, it's just a general reading. So um, if it does not resonate, then just check your Moon, Rising, and uh, Venus signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more than your Sun sign. Okay, take what resonates, don't try to make it fit. So let's get into it for Sagittarius messages for Sagittarius please I'm gonna be doing a you and them spread so you're gonna be on one side Sagittarius and your person on the other feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more okay for Sagittarius please what do they need to know when it comes to love huge thank you to everyone who has liked shared subscribed commented i really appreciate it oh we got rebirth a new beginning for you guys the lovers and change wow wow so changes maturity there's going to be some serious changes for you guys when it comes to your connections. Um, there's going to be a transformation, possibly even a reconnection with this rebirth card here. And it's going to have to do with a choice because we have the lovers, although I'm using this. Um, this is the Ojo Zen Tarot. I use it as an Oracle deck. All of the decks that I'm using today are linked in the description box. Um, This could literally just be like the two of cups too. Doesn't have to be the lovers like in the tarot. Could just be a card resembling love. So huge changes for you, Sagittarius. Something maturing. So I, I really got the sense of something progressing, maybe elevating. Let's see. I'm gonna use the animal spirit deck here, the wild unknown. I think that's right. So let's get some insight into your person, Sagittarius. Let's get some insight into your person. So give me some insight into the person Sagittarius is thinking about or connecting with at this time. Insight, please, into who this person is and what they're thinking or feeling. What insight can we get into this person? Okay, we got the beaver. The beaver is very uh, hardworking, provider, family oriented, thoughtful, productive. Let's see what else. What insight can you give me into this person? Thank you. Try and fly. We got similar cards. I don't remember who now. But the dragonfly is all about seeing through an illusion. It's about your mind constantly changing, turning, moving. It's about seeing what's real with the dragonfly. What else for this person? What other insight can you give me to this person? Could be a, your person is thinking about a certain situation in all kinds of ways. Gazelle. Interesting. Spider at the bottom. Let me read the gazelle real quick. The gazelle is very graceful. Um, it's also always watching, you know, aware. Supreme grace, sophistication, elegance, hyper aware of their surroundings. This can keep them from enjoying what they've worked for. I'm paraphrasing there. 
when this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. So it's almost like someone's caught up in this illusion or what they've realized so much that they're not focused on the here and now. Um, maybe they're a little bit too paranoid. And it could be because this is a complete change. Now I have the, I, I'm getting the sense here that somebody's willing to work for this. Someone's willing to put in the effort with the beaver. This could be their personality. Um, let's get into the tarot and see. For Sagittarius, please. In regards to love. For Sagittarius, please. So I'm doing a you and them spread, so I'll start with you, Sagittarius. Spirit, give me some insight into Sagittarius and what they're thinking or feeling in this connection. What are they thinking or feeling? This connection spirit. Three of Pentacles reversed. So there could be something here that's not really working. Or you might think it's not working. Maybe one person's putting in more effort than the other. Let's see. What else for Sagittarius? Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is the knight that for me makes it to his destination he's just very very delayed he has a lot of hurdles a lot of challenges in the way financial difficulties and so it slows him down but the knight of pentacles is very similar like the beaver they don't give up and they're not afraid of hard work so you could be waiting for an opportunity here sagittarius that hasn't arrived yet Tell me more for Sagittarius. What are their thoughts or feelings? Ace of Cups reverse. So you're very disappointed. I want this one too. Queen of Cups. So you're very disappointed, Sagittarius, at how things have played out or what's not happening here. Something's not working the way you thought. And I feel like you need a change, which is probably good that we're having these cards up here about changes, rebirths, maturity. Maybe someone needs to grow up. But um, this is on your side. So let's see about your person. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is thinking about, Spirit. What are their energies? What are their thoughts or feelings towards this connection? And with a gazelle, it's like your person knows. You have the two of cups reversed. There could have been a separation between you. Some sort of divide. Maybe your person, if they're with a the third party, there's a separation over there. Let's see. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Anything else for the person that Sagittarius is thinking about, Spirit? The chariot reversed. So there needs to be a change in direction for your person. Cancer energy there. What else? The sun, beautiful. So something's clear. Uh, your person could also be focused on their happiness. There could be children involved for your person because the sun for me is typically a card that could talk about children. Let's get one more for your person. Your person could be a Leo. But what I'm, I'm thinking here is clarity. Notice how there's a sun behind the gazelle here. And it's and like a very big sun in the back of this crow. So I'm thinking um, they're connected in some way. For this reading, you know, that's how I interpret things intuitively. So I just immediately thought of the gazelle. So it's, it reminded me of like the sun shining on something making it clear, inescapable, something that you cannot ignore. 
the truth, you know? There's a lot of light and light can, you know, show us things that we've been missing. So I think this gazelle knows something or your person is aware of something that they see clearly now. Remember, something was an illusion here. What else for Sagittarius, this person? Like they keep wanting to give me two. Okay, we got the five of pentacles. So struggle, possibly financial here. And the knight of cups, this could be an apology, a message expressing how they feel. The knight of cups um, tends to be, you know, a Romeo. They wear their heart on their sleeves. Very interesting. I feel like there's a lot of like conflicting energies for your person. And again, feel free to flip these if they resonate more, but to avoid confusion, I'm going to just say this is you and this is your person. So let's, let's get to the bottom of what's happening in this connection. What's happening in this connection spirit, mutual energies, please, between Sagittarius and the person they're thinking about. What's happening in this connection? There could be distance between you emotionally. Six of Pentacles. Balance. Equal give and take. What else? Oops. Interesting. I'm not going to take those, but something with communication is off here. Either they're, someone has difficulty communicating or someone does not know how to express how they feel. Someone could be keeping something to themselves. Yeah, the Page of Swords flipped up again. It had come up while I was shuffling with the Queen of Swords reversed. So something here, some sort of deception or miscommunication here with the Page of Swords reversed. Something's not clear with the Page of Swords reversed. You know, it's like they use words to confuse. Some sort of conversation possibly didn't go the way that you thought it was going to be or it was, that you thought it was going to go. Ace of Pentacles. There we have an opportunity. And the Two of Swords reverse. So someone needs to, to make a choice about an opportunity that's being presented to them. This could be any opportunity. And Queen of Swords reverse at the bottom. So they did want to come out. That's why I don't mind putting cards back. Because if they're going to come out, they will. So what I'm seeing here is some sort of a disconnect when it comes to communication. Uh, some sort of deception possibly. Regarding a choice. One of you, I feel, has an opportunity. I don't know what that is. I'm going to clarify. But for now, what I'm seeing here is someone has an opportunity to even things out. However, they're not communicating this, even though they've made it their decision. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so then let's get into this a little bit further. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles reverse, because... This could be a third party interference here, or it could just be that something's not working. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles reverse, please. Ace of Swords reverse, again with the deception. There's some sort of not, something's not clear or something is not clear or something is like, hidden from you the communication is destructive it's like the final argument or something like that tell me more about this three of pentacles reverse someone could have been um deceptive about a third party interference but i'm also thinking that it's like you had a conversation with someone that showed you this isn't working out. Hierophant reverse. Taurus energy. 
This is symbolizing a uh, broken commitment, broken contract. And then we got the Empress at the bottom. So the Empress to me is usually in a commitment of some sort, a long-term commitment. They're usually a parent, a mother a lot of the time. This Empress knows her value. They have a lot of self-worth. Whatever they touch turns into gold, so they don't need to rely on anybody else. Um, I feel like someone recognized their value and is possibly breaking a commitment. And it could be with this person. Who knows? Let's see. Tell me about this Ace of Cups reverse. Ten of Wands. So it's very heartbreaking for someone, very difficult emotionally, but they're still dropping a burden. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. And I feel like you have a lot of love to give. You're very intuitive with the Queen of Cups here. Judgment, definitely. You're making a judgment call, or you have, about this burden. Again, with the rebirth. I feel like you want a second chance for yourself, a change for yourself. The lovers reverse, definitely. You want to you want to make a different choice. So let's look at your person. What happened here with this Two of Cups reversed? If you were married to this person, I feel like you want out. Um, if you're married to someone else, you want out. And your person is going through either a similar thing or if you're the one that, if you were together, they're very, um, they're really struggling without you. Might want to apologize here. Tell me about this Two of Cups reverse. Eight of Pentacles. So this person might be wanting to work on this again, on what didn't work out here. What, sepa what separation happened here? Tell me more for this Eight of, nope, Two of Cups reverse, please. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there, there's another, more cards about change. Your person wants to change the fact that this is over. They don't want this to end or they don't want to break up. They don't want to separate here. Tell me about the chariot reverse. This usually means you need a change in direction. You're stuck where you are. You're unable to move. Three of Wands reverse. So it's almost like your person missed the boat and they're now panicking possibly here. They no longer want to wait for something even though they feel stuck. Ten of Cups. Another ten. Three tens so far. Um, three of Wands reverse. Three, ten of Cups. So it's almost like they no longer want to wait or they missed the boat on emotional fulfillment and now they feel stuck and they want to change direction what's this knight of cups about what kind of message is this here what's this knight of cups about five of wands reverse so they want to apologize this is an apology they're sorry essentially for screwing up for all of the drama, for all of the fighting, for all of the like extra people involved, whatever it is, they want to apologize. And now they're struggling. So then let's see, what's this Ace of Pentacles about? Oh, okay. That's way too many. But I'm going to take these because they're telling me to. Jesus. King of Pentacles reversed and the world reversed. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles reversed. The world reversed. So I feel here, um, there's like a lack of a new beginning or like a delay in a new beginning. Um, someone's unable to 
start something new. Either because they're dealing with a King of Pentacles reversed or they are a King of Pentacles reversed, which means they don't have the resources. They're bad with money. They, they tend to just care about what they have, not how others feel. All of their decisions are based off of how they, you know, what they can get from other people. So it's almost like someone wants to, either they want to give you this new opportunity to rebalance the situation, but they're not telling the whole truth. And that's because they can't really get this started. It's like words, but not really actions here because they don't have the resources. Or someone doesn't want you to have a new opportunity without them. What's at the bottom of the deck? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. So this opportunity would allow someone to go after their wish fulfillment. And there's like a delay here. And I think it's this King of Pentacles. Someone wants to delay you from this new opportunity and look at that four of wands after that so it's like you're heading right towards stability and harmony you're walking away towards stability and harmony here and someone either is is keeping you from that or trying to delay you on purpose or they're telling you that they want this you know let's I'm going to walk away from everything and we're going to move in together or have a happy home or whatever, you know, um, we're going to make this work, but they don't have the resources to do that. It's, it's an illusion. They're not telling you the whole story. If that's the case, tell me about this page of swords reverse. What's this deception about what's going on here? What's not being said clearly? Page of Swords Reverse, please. Seven of Pentacles reversed. This could be financial. They invested in the wrong thing. They wasted time on something. They're not able to grow. They're giving up on, on you know, investing in something. Tell me more for Page of Swords Reverse. nine of wands reversed so again with that giving up energy this is someone who possibly you can't trust because they're you know everything that you've done with this person hasn't worked out bottom of the deck temperance time something with time either a lot of time has passed or it's been so long that you don't really want to give everything up or this person doesn't want to give everything up because they they've put in a lot into this financially speaking is my guess now i know once or versus typically someone that like puts down their guard or is no longer fighting for something no longer defending themselves so it's like they give up on whatever they're either waiting for or fighting for. Um, it could also mean that someone doesn't trust someone else. You know, it's like the trust is completely broken. And I think it has something to do with you, Sagittarius. You're under here with temperance. It's almost like you've been patient, you've been balanced. Someone could be wanting to come, have two things come together that are completely different here. Can I get one more for this page of swords reverse? But I feel like someone has been either waiting a long time and they're tired of waiting. They feel like they've wasted their time. They're no longer gonna fight here. They're no longer going to have hope. Tell me more about this page of Swords Reverse. 
Queen of Wands. Another queen. So far I have a Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Two pages, two knights. So I feel like this could be a third party situation because you're not this queen of wands. I can tell you that right now. I feel it. This queen of wands card has sunflowers and so does the sun. So does the 10 of cups. There's no sunflowers over here. These are things that I noticed, but there's no sunflowers over here. So this person could have children with this queen of wands or is with this queen of wands or this queen of wands makes this person happy. However, there's a queen of cups here. What is going on Sagittarius? If this is resonating with you, please let me know in the comments because I see this like being a mess here. I feel like this person wants to apologize to you, Sagittarius. However, they're not being completely honest about this queen of wands, whoever this is. It doesn't have to be another lover, but it's an interference here. Parent, friend, coworker, something is here. Some person. Bottom of the deck, the star, Aquarius energy here. What a crazy reading. Your person wants to change a situation. Luck, they want to work on fixing something. And I think it's with you. They want to offer an apology. They want to say they're sorry. Because they're struggling, possibly financially. Sorry, my camera cut off real quick. Over here, they have like, what is this here? They have like no movement. They want a change of direction. They miss the boat on true happiness here. So it could be that your person had someone else, but they're not, it's not stable there. You know, it's, it's a bad investment here. Um, and they want stability with you. You offer stability. So they don't want you to have an opportunity elsewhere. That's one possibility. Or, you know, they might have stepped outside of this connection for fun, for the physical part of it. But you are the real deal. However, I think you're over this. You've made a judgment call here. And it's like, now this person wants to change. Now this person wants to put in effort. And I think that's BS personally. I think that's BS, but okay. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.